Not by 50 years married. Some people, we had one last week, I think it was 67 years married. And that, that wedding ring was old and it's beautiful, those wedding rings. Sadie Fabrizi, Sadie Fabrizi, on Tuesday, happy birthday to you. And you know what you're going to do for your birthday on Tuesday? It's election day. And Our Lady of Pompeii has her spaghetti lunch and spaghetti supper. And I'll tell you, if you want to go there and you see a lot of people, and the spaghetti and the meatballs are great, and you get a salad with it, it's just fantastic. So Sadie Fabrizi, on your birthday, spaghetti day at Our Lady of Pompeii. And that's from your daughter Adele and your son-in-law Joan. They want to wish you a very happy birthday. Maybe they'll take you for a sp spaghetti dinner or spaghetti uh, lunch that day. And here's Lou Monty to sing for you, Sadie. There's an angel in the fountain. There's an angel in a fountain On a little street in Rome And the secret of my broken heart Is known to her alone She seemed to smile at us and bless us from above. Ah, but that was long ago. Now my heart is filled with yearning, and I dream of your returning ever since you went away. Hey, we want to congratulate Paul Pasqualoni, the coach of Syracuse University, for that great victory yesterday. I noticed all the sportcasters were predicting that Connecticut was going to upset Syracuse. Well, upset, well Syracuse turned the tables. Pasqualoni did a great, great job as a coach. And everybody speaks, everybody in the football world, coaches, owners, they all speak very highly of Paul Pasqualoni as a coach and what a great gentleman he is and how he treats his ball players that they all, most of them all graduate. And then the, the people, the, the kibitzers, they don't think he's such a great coach. And probably they don't know that much about football as much as the other people know. But uh, congratulations to Paul Pasquale, and, and I hope he's here for another five more years. We'll be right back after these messages. Nearly 80 years ago, the Tisson family came to Syracuse. They brought with them a strong work ethic and the desire to share their brand of Italian cooking and baking with Central New York. Over the years, Samuel Tisson and his family have continued those ideals, offering healthy portions of delicious food derived from recipes passed down from generation to generation. You are invited to sample these traditional Italian family recipes at Tisson's Wine Garden. Drop by for a business lunch, family dinner, or cocktails and dinner for the two of you. No matter when you arrive, you will experience the finest Italian-American cuisine served in a relaxing atmosphere. Carefully crafted pasta dishes, seafood, and steaks, along with express lunch specials, make Tassone's Wine Garden a delicious alternative to fast food or chain restaurants. Tassone's Wine Garden, just off 690, across from Cooper's Marina in Baldwinsville. A family tradition in fine food. 
What's the most important aspect of insurance, whether it be homeowner's insurance, car insurance, or life insurance? To me, the most important is the service that you receive from the person or agency that you buy it from. And let me tell you, the Falcone Insurance Agency is by far the best when it comes to personal service. I have experienced it myself. The Dominic Falcone Insurance Agency is located at 901 Lodi Street at the corner of Willow. So if you're looking for reasonable and competitive rates, but more important, you want fast, effective, and efficient service, call or visit the Dominic Falcone Insurance Agency at 901 Lodi Street at the corner of Willow. Or call them at 422-6128. That's 422-6128. When it comes to insurance, you need to speak to experience. The Dominic Falcone Ins Insurance Agency has been serving this community for over 75 years. Call them at 422-6128. At All Souls Day, Tuesday, November 2nd, St. Mary's Cemetery and Mausoleum will hold a memorial mass at 10 a.m. You're invited to remember your loved ones during this special liturgy in the chapel. Bishop Moynihan will be the celebrant. Following the mass, there will be an open house from 11 a.m. till 1 p.m. Refreshments will be served. If you have loved ones at St. Mary's Mausoleum and you'd like your final resting place to be near them, they encourage you to make your plans now because the beautifully renovated mausoleum is over 90% sold. By planning ahead, you'll enjoy the peace of mind that comes from easing the burden on your family, and you'll experience lower costs along with a three-year interest-free payment plan. So please join them on All Souls Day, Tuesday, November 2nd, for the Memorial Mass at 10 a.m. and the open house from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at St. Mary's Cemetery and Mausoleum on East Tennessee Street next to Holy Cross Church in DeWitt. To find out more about Catholic cemeteries in the Diocese of Syracuse, call 475-4639. Get peace of mind. Call today. Welcome back to Armando's Music Italian Style. Louis Panacchia Jr., Lou Panacchia Jr., on Thursday will celebrate his 50th birthday. Chinguandan, Lou Panacchia Jr. Your father doesn't look like he's 50 years old yet. I'll tell you, young-looking young people, I can't believe it. Louis Panacchia Jr., 50 years. And Louis, that's from your dad and your brother and your sister. And they all love you very, very much. Lou Panacchia. And I hope you have a great day on Thursday. But make sure you get to Pompeii on Tuesday so you have a lot of spaghetti and meatballs. And here's Jimmy Fontana to sing for you, Lou. Del, del, del Lago.
Lago, Jimmy Fontana. Isn't that a nice song in Italian? That's Delilah, and they sing it in Italian. They rewrote the, word, the, the words. Just a, just a nice song. David George. David George tomorrow. Eight years young. David George. Eight years young tomorrow. And David, that's from your mom and your dad, your brother Sam, and your sister Sarah. And how they all love you very, very much. David George. Eight years young tomorrow. And I hope, you, I hope your mother or your grandmother or your dad fixes a, a nice... A nice plate of spaghetti with some meatballs on top. But don't drop the meatball. So here is on top of spaghetti. Go Hi, kids. Hi, Tom. Let's sing a little bit. On top of spaghetti. On top of spaghetti. All covered with cheese. All covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball. That's the way it's the title of the day. And you gotta watch those meatballs. Don't, don't. Even when I was a kid, if we ever dropped a meatball, I'd pick it up, blow, the, blow some of the dust off, and, and eat it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw it away. You crazy? Sonny Var, Sonny Var, tomorrow celebrates his 81st birthday. Otanduna and Sonny Var. Happy birthday, Sonny. And that's from your beautiful wife, Pat, your great grandchildren, and your, and your great grandchildren, and your grandchildren. And they all love you very, very much. And the song they requested for you, Sonny, was anything by Enzo Stuarte. So here he is to sing for you, Sonny, Matanada.
tu la veste bianca e ci dilucio al tuo canto non sei la luce manca dove tu sei Okay, let's see. It's right now. It's 10:46. 10:46. Watch your clocks. Make sure you, you set them back. And we'll be right back after these messages. When you visit Lombardi's Fruit and Vegetable Gourmet Food Store, the first thing that hits you is that delicious aroma. The smell from the fresh cold cuts like salami, cabago, prosciutto, and the many different kinds of cheese, especially Lombardi's sharp provolone. Malone, it makes my mouth water. And right in front of the deli case are tubs of different olives, the green, the black, and boy, are they tasty. Check the area where they display their oils. You'll find a number of brands and mostly imported and most all cholesterol free they can and will make up fruit baskets for your special friend or for your special occasion Vince Lombardi makes his own pasta every day just to assure you that it's bella vrishka vrishka so visit Lombardi's on Butternut Street at the corners of Catherine and Lodi streets and give yourself a treat you're the best you're the best one for me all the rest don't treat me like family bells motors dodge not the biggest just the best this family-owned dealership have a complete lineup of Dodge cars and trucks. The Dodge Neon, the fun-to-drive car with a fabulous price. Or the Stratus, the new kind of car that gives you the style, power, and comfort you want for your family. The luxury car, the popular intrepid. Do you want the power and versatility that only a Dodge Ram can give you at an affordable price? Well, you got it at Val's Motors. You can choose from a whole bunch of versions of this mighty pickup truck. Val's Motors at 756 State Fair Boulevard in Lakeland. Valves Motors. They are not the biggest, but they are the best. I know. I bought one of their Dodge cars. Many call it the most important election in our lifetime. Tuesday, Americans go to the polls to elect a president. New Yorkers have a decision to make about who will represent them in the U.S. Senate. In central New York, there are choices to be made for state senate and state assembly. Hi, I'm Rod Carr, urging you to join me election night starting at 9 o'clock right here on Talk Radio 1390 WFBL. I'll be joined by political watchers Andy Brigham and Armin Magnarelli, Rick Guy, Dick Case, and Tim Glisson to bring you the results from across central New York, the state, and across the country. We'll also work closely with News 10 Now to bring you the victors and the vanquished, all beginning at 9 o'clock election night on Talk Radio 1390 WFBL. Welcome back to Armando's Music Italian Style. And speaking of Val's Motors, we're going to do the Val's Motors Italian Quiz. Just remember, this quiz is, has to do with something Italian, either names that are Italian, Italian food or whatever it may be, but it's always connected with Italians. Okay, and Val's Motors, and if you're the right caller, if you're the right caller and the right, and you have the right answer, you're going to you're going to get a certificate for an oil and filter change from Val's Motors at 756 State Fair Boulevard in Lakeland, New York. Their phone number is 4876211. We will mail you a certificate. Okay? So we'll take the uh, six caller met the six caller call 4219325 4219325. Okay, here is here is the, the question. Michael Samino, Michael Samino directed what Viet Vietnam era movie starring Robert De Niro? Okay, it was hailed as a masterpiece and it was nominated for Academy Awards and it won five Oscars, including Best Picture and Best Director for Samino. 
What was the name of that movie? Michael Cimino. He was the director. There's a lot of Cimino's in Syracuse, but I don't think they're related. I, I doubt if they're related. He's a director right out of Hollywood. What is the name of that movie? We'll take the six caller, 421-9325. And while Matt's taking a phone call, here's Mario Lanza to sing Mama Mavel Zavé. Then a nice song, Mario Lanza. The answer to that to a quiz was, was, um, was, uh, I, wait a minute. Oh, the Deer Hunter. There you go. The Deer Hunter. That was the winner. And the, Robert De Niro was a real star in that movie. Really made him. The Deer Hunter. And Matt, what caller was it and who was our winner? It was our eighth caller and it was Marlene Massaro from Syracuse. And we're going to send Marlene a, uh, a certificate for an oil and filter change at Valves Motors. And, uh, in Lakeland, and bring the certificate. In fact, I would call, uh, call early, make an appointment so they know you're coming, and so that you you won't be wasting time. And their phone number is four eight seven six two one one. Bells Motors. Okay, Carolyn Tisdale, or Tisdell. Carolyn Caroline Tisdell on Thursday celebrated her 15th birthday, and that's from Nana and Papa. Car Caroline Tisdell. 15 years young on Thursday. So, Caroline, have a good day because your nana and your papa called this morning and they wanted to wish you a very happy birthday on Thursday. And here's Lou Monty to sing for you, Caroline. Pepino Zurigil. <laughs> Peter, oh, you little mouse, so won't you go away? Find yourself another house to run around and play. You scare my girl, you eat my cheese, you even drink my wine. I've tried so hard to catch you, but you trick me all the time. Ci stanno usure, ci è la basciusella, re d'umore. Ho 
sogno e sete che le esce quando la casa è scura e in un mese da cucina balla sul sul ma parla un malandrino pure la gatta si ha paura che fino sul cielo mi ha fatto scomparire ma non giù sul cielo a casa e non ha da io stasera in da cucina non può che vino a già lassà e quando sempre ha che a peppina già in cappà No, I'm a Calabrese, I'm not. The other night I called my girl, I asked her, could we meet? I said, let's go to my house, we could have a bite to eat. And as we walked in through the door, she screamed at what she saw. There was little Peppina doing a cha-cha on the floor. Peppino su de gilla, ma fatta scomparì. Mannaggio su de gilla, a casa in Adai. Sta sera in da cucina, non può che vina già lassà. E quando si imbriaga, Peppina già ingappà. Ma non lo venivo, anche io. If I ever catch, I'm gonna throw you right in a bagnarò. Quella non ci piace il formaggio americano, quella va trovando un po' che va a mangiare. Se fatta giatta giatta, questa vita buona, e quando che la cammina parla proprio in un calandone. Peppino su di cilla, ma fatta scomparì, ma non giù su di cilla, a casa non ha da lì. Stasera in da cucina, un po' che vino già la sa, e quando si imbriaca, Peppino già non ha fatto. You're a nice man. And put your hand in the back. Oh, man, that juice of the gill must go shut up, man. A mousetrap. Who's on a me? Hey, Malandri. Big Brothers Big Sisters presents 100 Years of Helping Kids. Today, Kyle and his big brother, Justin, hello, Hi. are here to share some stuff we've learned. With kids, it's not always what you say, but how you say it. Hey, Kyle, you want to go to a foreign film festival? Nah, that's boring. Okay. Hey, Kyle, you want to go to a foreign film festival? Yeah, that's a great idea. From time to time, a kid may double dare you. Wow, that looks heavy. Bet you can't lift it. Are you serious? I double dare you. Okay. See, I told you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Moments like these happen every day. Making a big difference in the life of a child. To find out the many ways you can help support kids in your community, call 1-888-412-BIGS or go to BigBrothersBigSisters.org. That's BigBrothersBigSisters.org. This message brought to you by Big Brothers Big Sisters and the Ad Council. Until next time. Jim Cramer, Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. on Talk Radio 1390 WFBL. Hello, I'm Mariano Rivera to tell you about being a volunteer for the USA Freedom Corps. Everyone is capable of doing something. For example, I volunteer to be the radio spokesperson. They say, how does being a volunteer troop need a sound? To find out how you can volunteer in your community, go to usafreedomcorps.gov or call 1-877-USA-CORPS. When you help your neighbors, you help your nation. Make a difference. Volunteer. This public service message brought to you by USA Freedom Corps and the Ad Council. There is a place in England where speakers can publicly air their political views. Now a local college plans to emulate the Londoners. Hi, Bill Colley here. Monday morning on Talk Radio 1390 WFBL. We'll also hear more on the arguments for a new approach to battling illegal drugs. Monday morning on Talk Radio 1390 WFBL. For compelling and in-depth talk, Bill Colley. Weekday mornings from 5 to 9 on Talk Radio 1390 WFBL. More of Armin's Music Italian Styles coming up after this news and weather update on Central New York's talk and information station, Talk Radio 1390 WFBL Syracuse. CNN Radio News, I'm Jim Ribble. Ohio, New Hampshire, and Florida on the schedule today for John Kerry, Florida, and Ohio for President Bush. Kerry made an appearance at a Dayton, Ohio church this morning. We are going to work to do what we need to do to heal the wounds of this country to be one America, 
Not just red states and blue states, but red, white, and blue for every single American. Bush campaign advisor Karen Hughes says her candidate is upbeat as the election looms. He's an optimist. He, he's very much looking forward to serving for another four years as president. He has a great deal he still wants to accomplish for this country, and he's enjoying going around the campaign, around the country. Ohio State University professor Edward Foley is a bit worried about many polling places nationwide possibly being understaffed. There hasn't been enough money uh, for poll worker training. One of the things that Congress didn't do was to uh, set aside the kind of money that we need to implement a, a good electoral system around the country. Homeland Security Secretary Tom Ridge says the U.S. terror threat level won't change because of the latest Osama bin Laden videotape. On that tape, bin Laden makes more veiled threats, but nothing specific. Our terrorism analyst Peter Bergen says he's somewhat perplexed that intelligence officials have not been able to track any of the numerous tapes back to their source that have been released since the 9-11 attacks. American intelligence doesn't seem to have been able to follow the chain of custody. After all, it's a rather limited group of people that are getting these tapes, usually Al Jazeera, a limited number of bureaus. The Al Jazeera Bureau in Pakistan is a place that have, has already received tapes. The Arabic TV network Al Jazeera has aired video apparently showing three UN election workers taken hostage in Afghanistan, the kidnappers demanding the prisoners be released in Afghanistan and Guantanamo. Uh, just a quick reality check. Did you set your clocks back an hour last night? Those areas in daylight saving time are officially back on standard time now until next spring. This is CNN Radio News. Hello from the road, folks. You know, the only thing better than a twofer is a threefer. That's why this fall I'm staying at Econa Lodge and Roadway Inn Hotels. See, I get triple Southwest Airlines rapid rewards credit every time. So I earn flights three times faster. Call 800-4-CHOICE or visit choicehotels.com. We'll see you there. Offer good for qualifying stays in the U.S. before November 30th, 2004. For details, visit choicehotels.com. Triple credit means 1.5 credits instead of a standard 0 0.5. When you're sick of fad diets and letting your scale dictate your mood, then step off that scale and into the Cortislim life. You hear success stories everywhere. People raving about Cortislim. Isn't it time you join them in exercise, nutrition, diet supplementation, and Cortislim? Step off that scale and into the Cortislim lifestyle. Order two bottles of Cortislim and take $20 off. $20 off two bottles. Call 1-800-TRIM-993. 800-TRIM-993. Still no word on what ails Yasser Arafat. He's undergoing tests in a Paris hospital. His aides say after ruling out leukemia, the doctors are looking at possibilities such as poisoning or a viral infection. The undefeated records of two NFL teams are on the line today, and our Matt Sherry says they won't be easy games. The New England Patriots put their 21-game winning streak to the test in Pittsburgh against the Red Hot Steelers. Pittsburgh is no slouch coming into the game at 5-1, and one, largely thanks to rookie quarterback Ben Roethlisberger. Their cross-state neighbors, the Philadelphia Eagles, put their 6-0 record on the line at home against Baltimore. The backstory here being Terrell Owens, the Philly wide receiver who refused to play for the Ravens after being traded there in March and ended up being sent to the city of brotherly love instead. Matt Cherry, CNN Radio Sports. Utility crews in Michigan are working to restore power after high winds knocked down trees and power lines yesterday. At one point, a quarter million people were without electricity in Michigan. This is news from CNN Radio. Hello and happy Halloween everyone. I'm News 10 Now's Casey Kelly. Investigators are still trying to figure out how two trains heading in opposite directions hit each other yesterday in Little Falls, forcing about 25 cars off the tracks. No one was hurt in the crash. A CXS spokesperson says one car lost its grip on the track. There were originally concerns that hazardous materials had leaked from one train. Hazmat crews came in and secured the scene. The section of track will be closed until at least this afternoon. Christian activists gathered in Columbus Circle to protest same-sex marriages yesterday. Some Syracuse religious leaders spoke out, saying the Bible condemns gay and lesbian lifestyles. They called on political candidates to stand up for their cause. American Civil Liberties Union of Central New York officials say they respect the group's freedom of speech, but don't agree with religious values influencing the law. Rally organizers say this is the first of many gatherings to get their message out. And the leaves are dropping, the temperature's dropping as well, and now there are more signs of winter starting to pop up. 
The Sunny Crest Ice Skating Rink officially opens its doors for the winter season tomorrow. The rink is located at Henniger High School. It's scheduled to remain open through March 31st. And heading into this Halloween weekend, the FDA issued a nationwide alert about a specific candy. The administration warns that Jelly Candy Pops Sour Zip Kids contains egg allergens, and some people could have serious or life-threatening reactions to those eggs. If you have purchased the item and you want to return it, just bring it back to the store for a full refund. That'll do it for your headlines this Sunday. Now here's the latest on your forecast. Hello, everyone, and good Sunday to you. Lots of clouds. Um, maybe a ray or two of sun, some patchy drizzle, a couple light showers from time to time. Very windy, noticeably cooler, mid to upper 50s overnight tonight. For the trick-or-treaters, mostly cloudy. It could be a light shower or two, a couple of patchy drizzle, but mainly quiet. Um, we'll see temperatures backing off into the low to mid 40s as we head into our Monday. Uh, winds will slacken off. We should get some sunshine out as we go into the midday hours after maybe a morning shower. High temperatures in the 50s. For Talk Radio 1390 WFBL, I'm News 10 Now, meteorologist John DePasquale. Welcome back to Armando's Music Italian Style on WFBL 1390. And don't forget the time now is 11.06. We're on daylight saving time now, don't forget. Louise below me, Louise below me. Today, no wonder... No one the Zion, 96 years young. Happy birthday, Louise. Happy 96th birthday. And Louise, may you celebrate many, many more. And that's from your daughter, Mary, and your son-in-law, Pat, your granddaughter, Patty, and your great-grandchildren, Rebecca and Patrick. And they all love you very, very much. And your granddaughter, Patty Clark, today she's 40-plus. Today she's 40-plus. I don't plus what. And Patty, that's from your mom and your dad and your children, Rebecca and Patrick. They all love you very, very much, Patty. And the song they requested for you and, uh, and Louise below me, the one to say on the today, is Daddy's Little Girl. And here's Jimmy Rossell to say. Your sugar and spice, your everything nice, and your dad. Daddy's Little Girl by Jimmy Rosselli. And it is nine minutes after 11 o'clock, and that means it is time for the quiz, which is being brought to you by Pat's Automotive, 3010 West and C Street, right near Fairmount Fair, where you receive full service at self-service prices and 
Uh, they also have a mechanic gun to do for any minor auto repair you may need. That Pat is Pat Barada, the owner and the operator of Pat's Automotive. And Pat also owns a car dealership at 1142 West Belden Ave in Syracuse. The phone number there, 427 Four, four, yeah, four two seven five seven four nine. There we go. Pat's Automotive, quality auto care with integrity, and winner of the Sitco Image Excellence Award. And we're going to be giving away a 16-inch pizza, a certificate for a 16-inch pizza at the Dolores Bakery, with one topping of your choice. Don't forget Dolores Bakery. Come up to holidays. Make sure you put your order in for rolls, for pizza, or, or special bread, because they're awful busy in the holidays. And also, we're going to give away a $10 food certificate at the Sons Wine Garden. And the buffet started at 10 o'clock this morning. They have a they have a um, brunch, a Sunday brunch for 10.95 and 5.95 for children under 12. I'll tell you, it's a great, great buffet. Everything's on there, and you can eat all you want. Just great. Okay. So we're, so we're, here is the question. Here is the question. What is the capital of Idaho? I, Idaho. What is the capital city of Idaho? We'll take the we'll take the third caller. 4219325 4219325 what is the capital of Idaho, I, Idaho. okay and while well match taking the phone calls here's Joy, Joey Nigro with Gloria
Montenegro, our own Connie Francis. She's, I think she ever, I think she, she, when Connie Francis was young, she said her joy sounded just like her. She had a great, great voice, a great, great talent. Okay, the the um, the capital of Idaho, uh, Idaho. The capital of Idaho is Boise. The answer is Boise. Matt, what caller was it and who was our winner? Fourth caller had it. It was Rita Sheehan from Syracuse. And we're going to send Rita a, a certificate for a 16-inch pizza to Dolores Bakery with one topping of her choice and a $10 food certificate to Tassone's Wine Garden right here in, in Baldwinsville. All redecorated. She's just great. And, and uh, which is Joe uh, Piacciatini, the chef there, does a great, great job. Grace Mucci. Grace Mucci tomorrow celebrates her birthday. Happy birthday, Grace. Hope you have a good day tomorrow. And that's from your niece, Michaela, and the entire family. They all love you very, very much. And for you, Grace, here's Sergio Franke to sing Stata Vigina Me. Stata Vigina Me Una la sera Uno non può sapere Come si cade 